Okay, so question one. They give us this set, and then they are vectors like in R4, and then they say, what is the definition of linear dependence of a set of vectors? So that's a general question that has nothing to do with that particular set. And it's very simple. So what a set is, is it independent if none of the vectors in it can be written as a linear combination of, the, of other vectors in it. Okay. So a set of vectors is linearly independent if no no vector in the set can be written as a linear combination of other vectors in the set. Okay. So now 1.2. Find a Cartesian equation that describes the set generated by S. So the set generated by S is all the linear combinations, so you'll take a linear combination of those four vectors and then that can be written as a matrix equation in which you can reduce, make try and make one row zero, and that gives you give you a Cartesian equation. So the first factor is so we have one zero three one and zero one one two. We have one zero three one zero one one two, and then we have two one zero one four zero five one. Two one zero one four zero five one. Okay, so it's a linear combination. So these are the scalars, the co the coefficients of linear combination. Okay, and then it's we're saying that having an arbitrary vector x y z w that is the linear combination of those three columns. Okay, so now we need to cast reduce. And I'm trying to get one of the rows to zero. So we start off maybe with row three minus three times row one, and row four minus row one. Okay, so that'll give us x and y stay the same. And we have z minus three x and w minus x. And here we have we have one zero two four just the same, zero one one zero just the same. Then we have 0, 1, so 0 minus 6, 5 minus 12, which is minus 7. And here we, fourth row, we have 0, 2, and then 1 minus 2 is minus 1, 1 minus 4 is minus 3. Okay? Now we could do row, th we could do row 3 minus row 2 and row 4 minus 2 times row 2. Okay, so now x is the same, y is the same, but we now we have z minus z minus 3x minus y and w minus x minus 2y and oh, I want to move that, I don't want that to be so close, we have x, y, we have z minus 3x minus y, and we have w minus x minus 2y. Then we have 1, 0, 2, 4, the same, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, the same. But now we have, still 0 there and still 0 there, we have the second row, we have 0, 0, we have minus 6 minus 1, which is minus 7, and then just minus 7 again. Okay, then we have 2 minus 2 is 0. Minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. And th this is just stays minus 3. That's good, because now these 
it's your row is going to be able to cancel out to give you a row of zeros. So if you do, if you do seven times row four minus three times, you do seven times row four minus three times row three, right? That'll be give you a row of zeros. So then you'll have seven times row four is seven w minus seven x minus fourteen y. Minus 3 times row 3, so minus 3z plus 9x plus 3y, and that equals 0. So we can simplify this. So we have minus 7x plus 9x is 2x. Uh, minus 14y plus 3y is minus 11y. There's just a minus 3z, and there's just plus 7w equals 0. Okay, so supposedly this should be the Cartesian equation. Uh, we can check it though, because we can check to see that all those, all the vectors, the four vectors, that they all do lie in it. So the first vector is one, zero, three, one. So the x is one, y is zero, z is three, w is one. So that would give you two minus nine plus seven, which is zero. Yes. Then the next vector was zero, one, one, two. So x is 0, y is 1, z is 1, w is 2. So that would give you minus 11, minus 3, plus 14, which is 0. Cool. Next vector is 2, 1, 0, 1. 2, 1, 0, 1. So that would give you 4, minus 11, plus 7, which is 0. Cool. Next vector, final vector, 4, 0, 5, 1. 4, 0, Five, one, we would get eight minus fifteen plus seven, which is zero. Yes. So this Cartesian equation is correct, and I can just take out this rough work. Okay. So that's the Cartesian equation. Now on to one point three. Is the set S dependent or independent? Well, it's definitely dependent because there's many possible answers. One way we know it's dependent is that. Well, the next question is asking for us for a basis and then saying what is dimension. So let's not use the dimension to say why it's dependent. So let's say it's it's dependent because there's three variables in this uh, Gauss reduction. There would be three variables in this Gauss reduction because there's a row of zeros. Okay. So what I mean is if we Okay, so I'm just going to call this matrix A, okay? I'm going to say that this matrix that I wrote is A, I don't want to write it again. Okay. So the point is that question, so 1.2 shows um, free variables and so non-trivial solutions. Because there's a row of zeros, so there's free vari so there's a free variable. So it's just free. I don't want to say free variables, because there's only one free variables. So I, I say that it shows there's a free variable. I mean there is only one, but this is yeah. It shows a free variable in the reduction in the row reduction of the system what now the point is that we don't actually want now the one with the x y z w we want the one which we do for linear independence which is when you have when you have a um, times a, a coefficient a coefficient matrix which I'll call vector which I'll call a uh, row reduction in solution I'm gonna say in solution that makes more sense in solution so non-trivial solutions exist so it's linearly dependent okay next question 1.4 uh, I think it was put it down a basis for a binary basis and give the dimension of the basis so we want to 
want to throw out all the vectors that are dependent on other vectors. So if we look at this Gauss reduction, basically we want to throw out the vectors that don't have a pivot in the column because they can be written in terms of other vectors. So let's see. So So how did this gas reduction? This gas reduction came to got to the stage of got to the stage of having one zero two four zero one one zero then zero then we had zero uh, then we had two we had a zero zero we had um minus seven minus seven so that could be one one and. So we know we'd get to that if we did row 3 divided by 7. Is it 7 or minus 7? Minus 7. Row 3 divided by minus 7. And we've got rid of, we've already got rid of the last row by that. Okay. So we have that. I mean, if we could carry on Gauss reducing it, so we could do... Um, oh, we want to get the things above the pivots to be 0. So that just this... Uh, Third pivot needs things above it to be zero. So we do row two minus row three and row one. No, we don't need to know that. We just need to know that we have three pivots. Okay, so pivot, pivot, pivot. Okay. So these are pivots. And so, in fact, I don't need to say that. So this shows what we have. So, so this shows us that this the fourth vector is dependent on the other three vectors, but those those three vectors are independent because the first three columns if, if they've all got a pivot in them. Okay. okay, so so that that fourth vector is dependent. On the other three, so a basis would be um, first three vectors, which were what? They were one, three, two, one, zero, three, two, zero, one, one, two, and two, one, zero, one, right? One, zero, three, one, zero, one, one, two, two, one, zero, one. So that means that's a basis The B equals a basis. Um, it's a basis for the span of S, the set S, and the dimension then of the span of S is the size of you know, the number of vectors there, which is three. Okay? that all.